My guest tonight, of course, is a very talented actor. Uh, can I, we'll get to you in just a second. Please. Please. No, no, no. Don't read ahead. He's a very talented actor. Keep going. Who starred in the popular TV shows. I don't like shows, this whole sitting down thing. Justified and Deadwood. Will this work? We have... No, ahead. this is awful. He was also in the... Qu <laughs> I said Quentin. He's also in the Quentin Tarantino film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Please welcome what says here, our good friend. We'll fix that later. Timothy Oliphant. Timothy, where are you? <laughs> yes! Good to see you, buddy. Shit, I blew it. I came out with the mug and I no, gave no, away. No, no, it's fine. It was supposed to yeah. be here. Do you want to do it again? No, no, because that's fine. It's supposed to come out and it's there. Trust me. But it, I kind of gave away. It's fine. It's beautiful. Please. Although, because he got up, we do have to take his temperature again. Is that Andy? Yeah, we have... <laughs> Wait, what's that? Is that Andy? Yeah, Andy's I'm right here. Which one is he? Tim, I'm over here. Over that way. I'm there over you here. Are. I'm the one that's, that's vaguely movable. Sometimes it was hard to tell at first. I don't know if it's because the cardboard cutouts are so lifelike or... Um... Yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Look, the point is, you have brought a Can lot I... of energy. Oh, sorry. May I? Yeah. May I? Go Be ahead. Because I, I forgot. Know I... I, I shouldn't do a lot of talking here on Conan. Go I, ahead. Um... Conan. Conan. What is your last name? It's O'Brien. O'Brien. Uh, my brother called today, by the way. I told him I was coming to see you. He said, tell him he's still my favorite O'Brien. That's a lousy thing. Anyway, no, defer, hold a second. Because <laughs> a lot of times, and I, you were alluding to this, I'll come on your show, mm -hmm. if we can still call it that. Um, <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> this is... <laughs> Just, hey, take it easy. Uh, and, you know, we do the... We do bits. Yes. And I run around, and, and we, we talk... I have a lot of... Pre-planned anecdotes, and, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. uh, one might argue that uh, I interrupt you a lot. And but I want you to know today, I'm just here to listen. That's really great because you don't do Can a I lot. Can I ask of... you a quick question first? Yes. Though? <laughs> <laughs> When's the audience coming back? They're not coming back. Here's what I think is going to happen. You... Our, our plan is, as you know, we're wrapping up the day in day out show that the final one is on, the, on June 24th. So the right. last three weeks, we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna sort of really ramp it up, do a lot of fun, look back, and then the last two weeks, audiences, real audiences. So in like two weeks? No, 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 no. Don't, we want you here now. Can't wait to see him. No, 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 I'm Can't saving. Can't wait to see him. No, no, Tim. <laughs> Tim, Tim, come back. I want you here. We've tested you. Why do and I have you, to be here now? Because we've tested you. You do very well with cardboard. You are. <laughs> You're an electrifying presence. You don't need an audience. You and I have a thing. People talk about it. It's a thing we have. Is that? And we're, uh, we're okay with that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sort of an, what's the word? Antipathy. Is that it? Yes. Sort of, you know, we bump up against each other. You know, there's a anger and a jealousy, but there's also a love and right. affection. It's been too love long, hate. though. I haven't seen you in, uh, it's been a while. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we saw each other once, like, early in this whole... Pandemic. Yeah. I came to your house. Do you remember this? I came to your house and sat in your front yard. Oh, that's right. With your wife and kids, and we all sat around wearing masks, and I chatted you guys up, and then your kids gave you, like, a signal, which clearly meant he's got to go. <laughs> I saw them do that. They're very cool, beautiful kids, uh, but they made it clear that I should move along, and it was sad, and then I just walked away from your house yeah. well, like I, a sad I, hobo. I, I miss seeing you. I miss hanging out with you. Well, Going to dinner... It's opening up now. We could, we could all, we could, we get the wise. We could go out to dinner. Let's not rush enjoy it. Enjoy hanging Let's out. Let's not with rush you. it. Let's you wait know, another year. In person, uh, you're very interesting. You know what I mean? What I mean? feel like the audience doesn't. You don't. Uh, the audience doesn't see that side of you. You're very fascinating <laughs> when we get together in real life. He basically just said you've been boring for 30 years. So you're saying. Uh, you know me personally, and you I'm think a, in person. In person. I, but on TV, a, what, what happens? Well, that's the question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right? But you know what? You got uh -huh. you, How many weeks you got left? We got a couple of weeks left. It's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> Let them in. Let them in. You know what? I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be... You know what I mean? What are, you, what are you holding your gaze on the audience for? Just... You know, the money's over here. It's right here. This is the prize right here. I see you, Neil Young. Yeah.
You've been doing so much great stuff. I understand you went back to school during quarantine. I did. I went back to college. Yeah. Well, how'd you do that? Did you do it online? I did. I realized I wasn't going to be working for a while, even though, uh, uh, yeah, I realized, uh, like many people out there, I wasn't going to be working for a while, but um, I was fortunate enough to be able to, uh, I, I really, I, I hadn't, for, I don't, I didn't have my degree. I never got my degree. Oh, you never got your degree? Yeah, no, I was like two, uh, 2.7 units shy of a degree. And I just, it was just kind of sitting there for years and years and years. And then I realized. This is USC? I went to USC. Yeah. Yeah. And so I realized um, my wife and I were taking classes anyway, just kind of online classes. They were really kind of fun. And I realized, wait, I should take a class and get my degree. I'm, we're here. I got the time. It was amazing. So I, I called up, uh, I reached out to, um, some advisor, you know, academic people over at the campus. And um, they pulled up my file from whatever, and I re-enrolled and got my student ID and, and um, reached out to the fine art department because I, I could take, it was anything, I could do elective, but I was like, I really want to go back and work with the fine art department again. And then it turns out my college professor, one of my college professors who I worked, was so fond of and worked so closely with, the wonderful Ruth Weisberg, um, who became the dean of the, the fine art department. Um, I'm going to get into more detail. It's going to be fascinating for you and I think for the listeners. Mm -hmm. um, Did you take a course online in finishing an anecdote? <laughs> By any chance? <laughs> Those take time. Forget it. Listen. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great that you went back. First I of all, went you're, back. you're a talented artist. I don't think people know that about you. You're a very talented artist, and you Thank went you. back and you got your degree. I got my degree, and I, I was my thing, I got to work with the same, not only did I go back 30 whatever years later, I worked with the same professor who I worked with when I was in college, and it was, it was just an amazing experience. I, I want to show people a picture mm -hmm. of you. Yeah, yeah, we have no. it. This is you at USC. There you go. And um, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Andy, any thoughts? I think we showed this once before, and I said, that is a really cute lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it again. That was me. That was You're right. adorable. That, You're they put my, that's, I was, I was on the, uh, I was going to make a crew team joke. Remember the USC thing? The girl put her head on a, on a thing, and then yeah, they yeah. put her on the crew team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there was a, during the college cheating scandal. Cheating scandal. They, they put, uh, you know, some of the moms that were indicted uh, were, were caught putting uh, the girl's head on the body of someone who was really rowing on the crew team, even though their kid didn't row crew. Right. And then she got kicked out of school for that. Yeah. Which I think was the wrong course of action. You thought that was the wrong punishment? What's the right punishment? They should have forced her to and do crew. <laughs> 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 you mean, because crew is what? You got to get up there at like five in the morning? Yeah, can you imagine? She, when that one went down and she was like, I guess I'm out of here, they should have said, no, 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 sit down. Yeah. Yeah, practice tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> Put her on a little, little canoe, whatever, what, you know? It's not a canoe. Stroke. Have you ever done, Stroke. Have you ever done crew? No, I'm Okay, because no, you just called it a canoe. Did you, oh, you look like you did crew, though. Thanks a lot, pal. You don't get these broad shoulders just hanging around. What sports did you play? <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> what, what sports did you try to play? Well, that's terrible. That's mean, try to play. What, what sports did I you I was play? a fine hacky sack player. Uh, I ran track uh, for a while in high school, um, was not very good, and didn't do well at it. I had very small lungs at the time. <laughs> that's what the problem was, the lungs? I think it was very small lungs. Uh, the lungs. Disproportionately small lungs. Uh-huh. Uh, but I, I ran Did track. you have those giant feet, like, where you just couldn't, like, it was just tough? <laughs> Come on, did you? You but did, not, right? I wasn't like a baby brontosaurus. No, no, I was just, yeah, you did, though, right? Yes. My yes. son, who you know, it, he was a tall, lanky kid. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and um, I remember once talking to him, and I, I think we were talking about uh, skiing. Yeah, and I was like, come on, let's, we're all going to go skiing. We'll go snowboarding. And he's like, come on, Dad, I want to ski. Why not? You, you look, oh, come on, man. i got a hard enough time walking. 
<laughs> I feel like that's what I had very had large that. feet. Yeah. Uh, still do. And um, did you ever trip in a competition and just fall like on nothing? Did that ever happen? Yes. Were you just literally out of the blocks and you fell? Yeah. I fell before we went, before they fired the gun, and I fell so after good. they fired the gun. I know. Uh, I, no, I, I shouldn't have been out it. there. I shouldn't have been out there. You, of course, a terrific athlete. We have photos and video footage of it now. No, we don't. No? Nope. There's no footage of it. I had it destroyed. Um, so this is your fun thing to do. You're obviously a very talented man, a very good-looking man, what are a very good athlete, anymore? and you love to come on here and point out that I'm not those things. That's your fun little no, game. No, I just was wondering what sports you did. Sure. Sure you did. You said track. Yeah. Okay. High school. I didn't play a sport in college. Let's just say comedy was my sport. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you well, and I know you're a legend. Uh, not just now, like people know you're a comedy legend, but you were like a comedy legend in college. This is, I love this part of the you interview. You were the youngest person to ever uh, be the editor of that the thing at the, at the school. What a lovely tribute. <laughs> what a lovely, well thought out. You know what would be, you know you know be, be great? They had a magazine. You know what would be great if you hosted a new, a re <laughs> A reimagined version of This Is Your Life. But I you am. didn't do it's any. On this channel he didn't June do 25th. any research at all. <laughs> yeah. So it was like Conan O'Brien. You did a thing yeah. with the thing, yeah. right. and then you met somebody, and then there was another thing. It's gonna be huge. That was your life. June twenty fifth, TBS. Twenty fourth. Last. No, show. that's when your show ends. My show starts the next day. Oh, um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> was that not clear? I'm here to promote my show. We'll get to that. <laughs> it's called the guest. <laughs> <laughs> We're going. We're flipping it. Listen, I I don't, talk they to said, you. "Do you want to host?" I said, "No, I, I like being the guest." And they said, well, "We could do that." And I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." So it's going to be. Uh, so it's the guest with every week. Timothy Oliphant, yeah. and you're the guest every week. Every every night. It's oh, every night. night. It's nightly. Wow. What well, do you do now? Two nights, three nights a week? How many nights a week do you do? We do four. <laughs> All right, well, but so clearly, big fan. Hey. So I do. So the guest, four nights a week, TBS. I'm going to say one full sentence if it kills me. You played a marshal. You in the could come on and be a host one night. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a host. It's a, I can't. <laughs> uh, why? Why do we even bother? Tonight's host, Conan O'Brien. And then you come on. That's funny. Are you, right? You get it? It's, it's a flip. Incredible. I don't know where you get these ideas. Um, it's impressive. You always have good ideas. This, Your I kids mean... must have been impressed that you were in... Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. They love that. Because it was the coolest movie. It's Tarantino, and then it's all these huge stars. Did you, did you like, you took them to the premiere, right? I took, um, I took the oldest two. I can't remember why the youngest one didn't come. They'd never been to a premiere. It was very exciting. Um, uh, they really enjoyed it. You know, it was amazing. I mean, they. It's really nice now that they're older and that you can kind of do these things. And you know, um, I think they're all they're enjoying it, and and uh, and it's not so relatively not so crazy and bizarre and overwhelming. But and she, they love Tarantino movies, and they were thrilled to that. And they met uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt, and they were that all of that was very exciting. I would think so. Yeah. They flipped over Snoop Dogg though. Snoop Dogg was there? Snoop Dogg was at the premiere. It was really quite something. It's amazing the power of music, and specifically him, I guess, because you know they had met all these incredible people. They were very excited, or it seemed cool. And they were having, and then Snoop walked in, and it was like, oh, I, they just went. Right, it's a whole other level of oh, excitement. Oh my God, they went, yeah. They were like, oh my God. And we're like, what, it's like Snoop's here. And you know, I was like, should we, we, we I had a friend in common, and they're like, Yes, they want to go meet Snoop. So, my wife, I took it was my wife, my oldest daughter, and and my son. Uh, we 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 walked over, and uh, my friend introduced me to Snoop, and um, God bless him. He looked at me and I and just said, uh, "You're a bad mother." Yes, I know, right? Because. I tried to play it real That's cool. That's the ultimate compliment for I Snoop. tried to play it real cool, and I was like, wow, thanks. And he goes, no, nah, you're a bad. He said it twice. And inside, because my kids are right there, inside, there's a little me going, yes, yes. Right? I'm like, yeah, see? Told you. Yeah. Right? He says that a lot, though. Doesn't matter. He me. met my mom like eight years ago, and that's what he said to her. <laughs> you bad mother. <laughs> my mom high fived him, <laughs> and they smoked some chronic. 
out in an alley, it was a good time. But uh, but I'm glad he said it to you too. You know what? You know what? It's rude. You're just upstaging my anecdote. Nope, not at it wasn't all. Wasn't even that good of an nope. anecdote. No, it was a good you anecdote. But you know what I did? I put a little took cherry it to on the another Sunday. level. You know I, what? I'm gonna start over. Nope. No time for that. Listen. There's no transition. We can't afford those now. You get mistaken a lot for actor Josh Dumel, okay? In fact, you know, today I was pretty sure we booked Josh Dumel. We were excited. And then That's why again, I'm here. Again. I'm here to promote something, uh, something on Netflix that he's doing. That's why I'm here. Isn't now, it stunning, Andy? Now they just it's call stunning me. how much he looks like Josh Dumel. Yeah. You know, Here's he's... a side-by-side -side picture of the two of them. Yeah. I don't even know. I can't tell which one is you. You know, I he did. I think, though, Dumel is like the large version and he's the medium version. Because Dumel is a big, tall man. Yeah. No, this is this is true. I, I can vouch. I tell you, you know, he did my. Um, he, God bless him, he, he did the, uh, my family Christmas card. He posed, what? He posed with my family for. And uh, we sent it out as my. Uh, yeah. Is that true? That's absolutely Wait, true. Wait, so you got Josh Dumel to pose with your wife and kids, and you're not in the picture. Yeah, no, I have it on my phone. I'm going to show it to you. I, we, so for years I've been hearing, this goes way back, early 2000, like I've been hearing, you know this guy Josh Dumel? I was like, no, he said, you guys look a lot alike, you know, and we had friends in common. And then I'd get mistaken for him, and uh, my wife just would love that. She'd just needle me, you know, like, oh, it's Josh Dumel, you know, and I'd be like, off and um, <laughs> she loved it though yeah and then I I just we had friends in common so I knew he often you know, we had this mutual thing we get mistaken for one another so we're at this uh, we're at a Dodger Stadium and um, and for a charity event that Clayton Kershaw was putting on my buddy AJ Ellis at the time was playing for the Dodgers there's a lot of names involved this, let me you want me to tell you about my all the people the college professor again? I'll pay you not to thank you so anyway Help me out. Stay on track. I'm right here. I'm right here with you. You're playing this so we're charity a event. We're at Dodgers. And there he is. Josh I, Duhamel. Yes. And we've never met. And as soon as we see each other, just laughter. Just laughter. Just years of his, what we both. And uh, anyway, uh, long story short, if that's still possible, I say, hey, dude, my family, whole family's here. Would you take a picture with them? And uh, he uh, very kindly obliged, and it was wonderful. But we sent this out as happy holidays from all the elephants and Josh. Here's the picture here. Where am I putting it? Look at that. So all I know is that uh, right around uh, the holidays, my brother calls me uh, from my mom's place. He says, I'm here at mom's, and your Christmas card's on the refrigerator uh, with all the holiday cards. And mom saying, don't, doesn't, don't they look, everyone look great? And my, my brother says, Mom, you know that's not Tim, right? She's like, what are you talking about? She goes, that's not Tim in the card. Your mom didn't she know? She goes, that's an actor named Josh Duhamel. <laughs> and I swear to you, according to my brother, he said, Mom peeks in and goes, I thought he looked taller. <laughs> I, I sent that. We we now exchange uh, holiday cards. He's on the holiday card mailing list. He got a card that year from us, and I got a card from him. And the only difference was is he was in both cards. Yeah. <laughs> He's, yeah. So you know what? He can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned. Everyone nope. should watch his show on Netflix. Yeah, it's like a superhero thing. I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> And he'll be watching your show, The Guest, starring Timothy Olyphant. The Guest. He could come on and be a host. Yeah. You're not taking that mug with you. We're, we're hanging on to those. Those are collector's items. Um, Tim, you're a wonderful fellow. It is. Uh, go ahead. I was just going to wrap it up. I, someone needs to. I mean, it's, it seemed like um, it's a lot of pressure. This is our last interview on this particular Who, show. So what? There have been so many versions because, of my shows. Right. That whatever, you know, you shouldn't feel any pressure. But, but this is the last. Like, I read, the, I read, and we haven't even talked about this. Um, what did the doctors say? What do you have, and how long have they given <laughs> Let's get that rumor started. Uh, they said it's just too much talent. And yeah. it actually, it is 
destroying my immune system. I have so much talent. Right. And uh, they said, you've got to just stop for a while. I know it hurts for me to be so close to it. Trust me. You know what I mean? Like, I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I first read, you, and you know this because I called you, because I read the, when I read that this version of this mm -hmm. show was ending. Right. Um, I have to say, because, you know, we've been friends for a long time, and so when I read it, my, my, I, I thought immediately, as soon as I saw it, I thought, what does this mean for me? Um, <laughs> you know? And then, but then, right. I thought, oh, and Andy. And then, <laughs> and then, I thought I should call Conan. Yeah, you um, did. Several weeks later, I heard from you. Yeah. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, but whatever. You will always be in some version doing something with Sounded each other. romantic. I feel like before I go, I should say something of value about how much this show and, and uh, this friendship and we met on this show. That's true. Yeah, no, like, I, uh, like, you uh, you came on the show right, and we you came on the show and we became friendly and I knew right away this is a guy who will be a friend of mine and interrupt me in my personal life and my professional life, mm -hmm. never let me finish a sentence. Mm -hmm. This is a guy who can do that for me the rest of my life. I think I said something, you know, that bit we did, we should get together and actually, we talked about this bit idea, and I remember mm -hmm. saying we should get together and, and, um, and actually do that. And you said, you know, or we could just get together and go have a dinner or drinks or something like and that. And not do the bit. And not do the bit, which crushed my show business dreams, but, um, cause I think the bit could have been big, but, uh, but I really appreciated it. And then uh, it was just sort of like, yeah, give me your number. Give me a week exchanged, uh, we tech exchanged numbers, boom, 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 done. You know, a lot of times in show business, somebody says, hey, we should have dinner. Then the next thing I know is I have someone's assistant reach out to my agent who reaches out to me. Right. And then, uh, then I never see that person. Well, I can't do that I'm not because interested in my that. assistant doesn't do anything I ask her to do. Okay. To be fair. You would have screwed that up if I had said, can you call Tim Oliphant? You'd have screwed it up. That's not true. It is no. true. You would have called him and set up a dinner with you and Tim. Oh, yeah. That's in fact, <laughs> we, yeah, no, he's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Listen, whatever that, that, you know, listen, I know you've, you've told me about the problems. Yes. With Sona. What? What? They're legendary. He said you're aware of them. And then it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. I don't yeah. know what he's talking about. Okay. But but you you know this over the years, I don't know how many years it's been. We don't we don't we don't ever like I never get like, oh, Conan wants to have dinner at this restaurant from he just handles it all on his on his own. Yeah. That's me. That's what I, I do. I see that as a sign of this is by the way, we can stop the cameras. This oh, they ran out of tape. <laughs> Tim, they is, ran out of tape about 40 is, minutes ago. Frank, how are we doing, by the way? Do we feel I tried like I had it. We have it, and do I wrapped it up. Do we feel like we have something? Do we, we, do we want to? No, we've got it. You hear more about your teacher than you haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ending this. We have it in spades. Ruth Weisberg, first of all, is a wonderful woman, wonderful work. Uh, we have We're, to turn the theater back over. And still. <laughs> <laughs> to the people that own it, um, we... Uh, yeah, there's, there's a high school graduation coming in. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get out of here. But listen, you have been a terrific... You are a terrific guest. You are a very good friend. And whatever I do next, you'll be a part of it. I promise you, even if you don't want to be. Oh, that's fantastic, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. So, Is there money involved? No. Be very, no money involved. Just friendship and loyalty and Not stuff Not even like friendship. That? Hey, what? thank you so much for coming. You know what? Timothy Oliphant, I... there's no one else like you, and we thank the good Lord every day. <laughs> you guys are the best. You're the best.